It's so easy, Carter can do it. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we have a special install video today. The mechanics decided that they were gonna take a long lunch. We need to get this on in order to film our Tundra in the wild. We got the Magnaflow cab back street exhaust that every single Magnaflow exhaust we put on our rigs makes it sound perfection, completes the driving experience. If you wanna see some of those videos, we'll put a link in the description below on our Jeep builds and others. Uh, but this will be my first time installing it on a Tundra. So we'll see if it's actually as easy as they say. Normally, we have the professionals at Magnaflow do it, but we wanted to show you that there's no need to be afraid of a little install that you could do yourself. And I will tell you, if I could do it, you could definitely do it. So without further ado, let's lift this thing up, take off the old exhaust, and then put the bad boy on. Ooh, stickers. Nice. Look at the OE exhaust. Done. So these look like two inch pipes. These are closer to two and a half. So that additional airflow is just gonna free up your engine. Uh, what's cool about this system, it works with both the hybrid and the regular twin turbo V6, which we have the non-hybrid version on this rig. The other side is gonna bridge into here. It's gonna go to the muffler, straight out the back. Everything should be bolt on, bolt off. So let's see. I got some juices. That is heavier than it looks. Why an aftermarket exhaust? Do you need it? Uh, absolutely, you do. Because it completes the driving experience. Obviously, it sounds good, opens up that airflow so you get better performance. And overall, it's one of those mods that isn't that hard. It's not that expensive. And in our opinion, Magnaflow is the best. There's the reason why we keep putting them on our rigs. Not, a, not only do you get a wider diameter actual pipes coming from your twin turbo V6, uh, it's gonna just allow that air to pass through. Their anti-drone technology makes it so it's not super annoying. It's a very nice undertone, which is why we like it. You can just tell right away, the size of the muffler and all of the technology and all the R&D they put right here so that you get those clean, crisp sounds. The black tips are gonna add a, another a little design feature, which I really like. The dual output just makes it uh, complete. So now that we have the old exhaust off, we're gonna put the new one on. Shouldn't take too long. Magnaflow exhaust is on, it took about an hour. Pretty easy to do. Uh, you could even have this on jack stands, work on it in your garage. That's how they made it with all of the OEM mounting points at the same exact spot as Magnaflow exhaust. It's pretty easy to slide it in. We had to finagle it around a little bit, had an extra piece because I believe that's for the hybrid model. But overall, you could definitely do this yourself. Now, we haven't heard it yet. Let's fire it up for the first time. stock exhaust literally just sounded like a Honda Civic. This definitely has those real low undertones. I like it a lot. And for you know the price and simplicity, you're adding more horsepower and torque to your rig. Everything's running really efficient with a K&N cold air intake. We've now you know maximized it without doing anything crazy to the engine itself. 